are you? It is a lovely hot Friday afternoon. I'm off work, so yeah, let's uh, let's go do a video. I guess that'll be good. Now, I don't always like to do videos this way, but I am going to show you a few close calls. I'm not going to call them bad drivers or bad motorcyclists or road rage or whatever, whatever. They're just close calls for whatever the case may be. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of context into my perspective on what happened, and then you tell me if I was right or wrong. You know, I, I find that with these videos, there's always people that go either way. You know, oh, you should have done this. Oh, you should have done that. Oh, they should have done this. Oh, you should have smashed the mirror. Uh, you suck at riding, whatever, whatever, whatever. Any of those answers are fine because you are entitled to your opinion. So, uh, let's do the first video first. The first video happened just this morning and uh, what I could see was someone trying to merge from the right to the left lane. I saw their signal on, I saw that there was plenty of time for them to get over. Uh, you'll actually see me flashing my high beam at them to signal them, hey, you can get over. What I did not realize and what I should have been more prepared for was that they were not only going to the left lane, but they were turning left and they were not going to properly utilize the left hand turn lane that they had. And they ended up coming nearly to a stop in halfway in the road, which caused me to do what I did. So, you know, take a look at this one. So, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments section. All right, let's move on to the second clip though. This next clip, uh, you're gonna hear me say some things that aren't gonna make sense once I tell you this. So, when I reacted to this situation, I really thought that this woman in this SUV had come from the right lane into the left lane and, you know, effectively merged into me and, and didn't look, right? I did not realize this this woman came from directly behind me, which blows my mind even more. But, you know, whatever. I, I was not happy about it by any means. And, uh, you know, she later explained that there was three lanes there. No, there's not. There is not three lanes there. You go under a bridge, there is two lanes. Then there is a little shoulder and two lanes. Then you go through an intersection and then it opens up into more lanes. Well, apparently she didn't know that. So, anyway, time for this clip. So I just want to understand the logic of why you got into my lane. Like, huh? There's only two lanes. No. No, there's not. Two. Mirrors, look. See? Let's move on to the third and final clip. Uh, a guy pulls out from a side street in front of me. Uh, I was not happy about that, of course, whoever is. Uh, his argument was that I sped up and also that I was speeding. Uh, the speeding, ah, that was close, you know, because the speed limit through there is like 35. Um, as you'll see, I was not really flowing much more than traffic. Um, my speedometer does read 8 to 10% high, so that you guys know that. You can make whatever judgments you want about whether I was going too fast. Um, but I am actually going slower than what is indicated on the speedometer, so you can take that into consideration when you tell me how bad of a motorcyclist I am. Alright, uh, so yeah, let's play that clip. What are you doing? Look! Do you not look before you turn, man? I'm in the lane. You turned right out in front of me. No, I didn't. I moved over. Huh? Speed limit is 35. I got it on video. I'm going to report it to Clegg's, too. Well, 
there you go that's what happened you know make your own decisions about it it's so tough when these situations occur as a motorcyclist because whether it's intentional or not and I think most of the time it's not you feel you feel very threatened and you you, you get the sense of like major sense of like urgency and like having to defend yourself and it's just so tough you know um to keep a level head um there have been a lot of situations that have happened that never make it to the my videos you know they just they move on i move on everybody moves on and i've moved on from these i mean i'm not a spiteful kind of person and you know it is what it is but you know i think it bothers me more when people just want to argue with you and they don't want to accept that they made a mistake you know a mistake that could endanger your life you know ultimately but that's that's for them to choose and I need to try to choose a better path I guess maybe literally like literally not be there I don't know whatever okay on to the rest of the video Yeah, good deed. Those cones are heavier than they look. Are you in second? Alright, I'll chase you, go. What are you smiling about? Dude, I almost had you. <laughs> In front of a cop, huh? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Wonder if the cop's gonna do anything. Probably not. Oh, yep, unfortunately not. That's, dude, the man. What awesome justice that would have been. Oh well. All right, well, that'll conclude the rest of today's video. Um, yeah, I guess I will uh, catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>